Gone, you're, you're considered um, a first-generation American. Your parents are African. You were born in the United States, but spent your early childhood mm -hmm. uh, in, in Senegal and then moved back to the United States. What do you consider yourself today? Are you American? Are you African? Are you African-American? What, what are you? I'm an African raised in America, you know, clearly. So you're not American? I wish I was, but my mind is not African. I mean, American. It's clearly African. But you have the accent. You have, you uh, know, the... You know, I went to school in America. Uh -huh. um, my, all my whole, whole earlier childhood, I was raised in Africa. Mm -hmm. um, then I came to America. Every summer, we would go back to Africa for a vacation. And then when I graduated high school, it was a choice whether we wanted to go to Africa or stay in the U.S. And just the opportunities in the U.S. were so much greater than Africa. Well, you're certainly the perfect example of the American dream coming true. You well, know, thank you. Millions of Africans who make it to the States and who don't, you know, have the same success and the same luck as you have. And, you know, what would be your advice to a young African who's immigrating to the United States today? Well, I think this, this advice will go to any person migrating into the States. Ultimately, you can't change who you are. And I think the biggest uh, obstacle is that when people come to the U.S., they kind of alienate their original uh, personalities, way of lives, and they conform to what's there. And when you do that, first of all, that, you will never that, get accepted. But isn't that the best way to integrate? Absolutely though? not, because first of all, you don't, you can't, it's no way you can move forward and you're not you. Like one thing I do notice about America is that they respect other cultures. They actually admire other cultures very much. So when they can see the difference in who you are, their attitude towards you is completely different as well, too. But if you're walking into me, and I know you're a foreigner, but you're acting like an American, you just, off, you just seem fake. It's not genuine. So the respect level is completely different. But if I walk up to you as an American, and you're clearly an African or Asian, that makes me more curious about who you are. I ask more questions. I'm now more, in, you know, I'm more intuitive about what and what this is. I get more motivated to want to learn more about it. And then the respect level is different because now you're teaching me something. Mm. You follow? So, so, so when you're in the States, you're proud to say you're African? Oh, absolutely. Mm. Absolutely, clearly African. Right. Uh